Hey everybody, in today's topic I'm going to show you how we can create hyperlinks. A hyperlink is a digital reference to data that a user can follow by clicking or tapping a button or link. To create a hyperlink, we will need a pair of A tags. A means anchor. Then we'll sandwich some text between these two tags, such as click me. We're missing one thing. What we'll need within the opening A tag is an attribute, an href attribute. An attribute is typically a name value pair that modifies the behavior of an element. href means hypertext reference. We're referencing something. Within the set of quotes, we can list a web page or a file to link to. Let's begin by linking an external website like Google. Let's paste the URL within the href attribute, save. Then when I click on this link, it takes me to Google or some other website of your choosing based on what's within the set of quotes. There are more attributes you can add as well. They're optional. Another is target. Target equals, if you set target to be underscore blank, this link will open this URL in either a new tab or a new window, depending on your settings. Google has opened in a new tab for me. Another attribute is title. The title attribute displays additional information about the element as a tooltip. I'll add a message. Goes to Google. When I hover over this link, we have a tooltip that states, goes to Google. That's an additional option too. This URL is an absolute URL. You can also list a relative URL. So based on the last video, we have an HTML file of song lyrics. Within our index file, we will link to our lyrics file. So let's create another hyperlink. We'll need a pair of A tags, meaning anchor. We'll need some text. Song lyrics is good. Then we'll need an href attribute. href equals, these two files are right next to each other. For a relative file path, all we need is the file name. Lyrics.html. I'm going to add a line break real quick. BR meaning line break. Then when I click on this link, it takes me to my other HTML file. You could add these additional attributes if you would like. One last link. I'll create a line break. We'll create a link that begins the process of emailing someone. We'll need a pair of A tags. The text will be email me. A href attribute will be set to, now to send an email, type mail to colon, then an email address. I'll make up one. Test at fake.com. When I click on this link, we begin the process of sending an email to this email address. However, I'm not signed in, so this is as far as it'll take me currently. Okay, now for an exercise, let's go to our lyrics HTML file. Open with live server. Let me zoom out. Based on the last project, you should have a web page with some song lyrics that you like. We'll create a hyperlink to the original video. Let's do that after the artist. That would be right here, but before the horizontal rule, we'll create a pair of A tags. I'll add some text. Original video. Then you'll need to find the URL for the original video for your song. All right. I will set the href attribute to be that URL, the URL for a YouTube video. So when I click on the link, it now takes me to YouTube. All right, everybody, that's a hyperlink. It's a digital reference to data that a user can follow by clicking or tapping a button or link. And those are hyperlinks in HTML.